Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be doing a higher time frame video on Cake. Make sure that you check out the lower time frame video we'll also be releasing today if you are more interested in the shorter term moves. Okay, so let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about here is that we do have price history here only from 28th of September 2020. Now we don't have a lot of structure here to work with, so we need to just be bear that in mind going forward here. Now a key zone that I want to highlight here is this previous bit of structure that we have over here. Now this zone is interesting because we between this 144 and this 21 cent. Now typically speaking with an Elliott wave what we'll see is whether this is a B wave or whether this is actually a fourth wave of a previous move we do often see a retest of these areas. Now it doesn't have to be into the high or into the low sometimes it can just be somewhere within it so we need to just be aware that if we do move down into this zone we could actually see a potential bounce where we see a continuation to the upside and we actually look to take these highs or alternatively we could just see a bounce and then a break to the downside again so we're going to have to keep an eye on this area this is going to be quite a crucial zone because like i said we don't have a lot of structure here to work with so we're going to get into the counts now what we are looking for is two things so this is treating this move as a bigger corrective structure where this whole move here we're treating as an a wave so this would be the end of a corrective structure to the upside and then we're looking for this potential of a b wave to the downside once again we don't have a good anchor point here so so this fib is a little bit iffy now what i'd be interested in here is this uh, 382 which would be this 5093 to this 1252 this would actually be within this little bit of a zone of structure so i would be keeping an eye on this level if we do move down into this zone now the other way we can also discuss this is because we don't have all the structure here and because we don't have you know good structure within this we could also argue something more along these lines where this whole move here could actually be a third wave now the problem is once again i don't have a good anchor point here if this is the case and i don't have the structure to prove this but what I'm looking out for here is that within this, rather as a third wave, what we could be looking for is this zone of this 292 to this 1262. So if this is the case, and we're looking at this as a fourth wave here, what we would be looking for is somewhere between this 382 and this 50% typically. But if we get a shorter one, we can actually see it between this 236 and this 382. So this 382 is going to be quite an interesting area here, because this would be towards that 51 cent range. Now, as of as 51 cent we would probably argue that it's likely that the psychological level of 50 cent would actually be tested if we do look to break down into this zone so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this obviously like i said you know potentially a retest of anywhere within this area could actually signal that zone where we could look to actually potentially turn around now like i said as well it doesn't have to be two new all-time highs it could just be a bounce and then continuation so we're going to go over the internals now the internals of these they apply for both of these there are some that are more likely for one than the other um so if, what i mean by that is if we have a look at the internals of this count we could argue two things we could argue that it is just a bigger corrective structure here where we have this as a a b c for w and x another a b and a c in which case what we'd be looking for would be this one to one here at this 136 dollar area now if we do move down to the one to one of the w wave potentially one dollar 14 could be an interesting zone so this is what i'm looking out for here as potential targets if we did extend out this one two three six would be interesting as a psychological level potentially back into that one dollar range so we're going to have to keep an eye on this as the waves progress to the downside here but this would be looking at this as a corrective move now one thing we can't rule out as well is that if we are looking at this as a w x y it is always possible that we could see another corrective wave to the upside here and then face further continuation. So a key thing that I'm going to be looking out for here is, you know, I want to see a confirmed break above this level and then starting to move away and take these swing highs before we can argue that we have anything bullish playing out here. Now, the other way of looking at this move is that we could argue that this has been a 1-2 from the higher end here where this is basically a one two three four five and then we're looking for that potential where this could be an a wave so this would be looking for that deeper retracement where this becomes one two three four five then we'd have to be cautious of a potential move to the upside now this channel has been drawn just off of two points if we did get an additional move down here towards this zone of this one dollar twenty eight this could tie in with the retest of this channel again in which case what we could then see is potentially a three wave move to the upside now this would be a more bearish scenario here because this would be saying that effectively this would be 
become an A wave. This would become a B wave to the upside and then we'd be looking for a C wave. This B wave can typically move anywhere between this $5.64 all the way up to this $22.77. So if we did see a bigger three wave move up here, it wouldn't really invalidate it. If we wanted to look for invalidation, we would have to see a sustained break above the 786, which means that it's more likely that we'll take this high. Now, until we actually take this high of this 48.47, we need to just be cautious if we do form this as a five wave move we could just see this retrace up in three waves and continue to the downside so the one to one of this if we had to come back up to this 50 percent would actually be 17 cents now i'm not saying that we have to come down all the way to the 17 cents what we could see is that the c wave could actually be slightly shorter and we could see this come down towards a 618 here which would be 67 cents we have the 786 and the 0854 this 23 29.75 area so this could be a possible zone we could actually see this break down to if we are looking at this to continue after a three wave move so this is why it's going to be important now the reason why i'm looking at this 50 percent line is it would be interesting to see how we react on these previous highs that we have up here towards this five dollars forty if we did see a three wave structure to the upside like i said this would tie into the idea of this being a bigger abc now this ABC pattern would tie in more with this idea where we have this as a bigger B wave here. Now we could also argue that this is a end of a completed five wave move, in which case we're just looking for a bigger wave two or wave four. We don't really know because we don't have complete structure here. So this is why I'm looking out for that possibility of a deeper retracement to come. Now within these counts here, we can argue a couple of things. So because if we want to look at this as a fifth wave here, we can say that we have actually come down into this target area, which is this $2.06 to this $1.53. Now, because we've come down into this zone, we can argue that we are completed. However, there are some other target areas. So this, these red counts here would be based off of the wave one to three, which a typical target area would actually be this $1.30. And then we have this lower range of the 618 which would be here towards this um 64 cent range so this is something i'm keeping an eye on as well as that the one to one of the wave one would actually bring us down towards the 70 cent 78 cents area now what we could actually see here is the 0.618 of this actually ties into a $1.45, which would be sort of within the zone of this channel. So if we do see another drop to the downside here, this could actually tie into that idea of retesting this channel and then looking for that possibility of that continuation to the upside in a B wave before looking for that further drop to the downside. Now, within this count here, well, within this section here, there is a couple of ways that we can look at this. So if we want to treat this as a triangle, what we could see is that this move could nearly be completed. And particularly when we are looking at this in the, as a as a fifth wave. What we need to be cautious of, however, is that if this is not a triangle and it's not the, in the way that I've got it marked out here, where this is A, B, C, D, and then an E wave triangle here, where this is A, B, C, D, and E, what we could actually have is extension from further back where we could see this move actually still play out with an additional waves here. So we're going to go over the internal here. So the one, two, three, four, and five. So as long as we actually stay below this $2 and six, I will still looking be looking for this possibility of an additional fifth wave here where this is would take us actually down here towards this 142 to this 129. So that's what we'd be looking for as a potential zone. Now, if we do actually look to push up higher it could be that we are within this third wave already completed and that we could see this actually be this yellow fourth wave here which would be looking for this higher range of this two dollars 32 as a 50 percent so that would be based off of this being a one as a diagonal this is a two this is a three four and five this could actually tie in with the idea of actually bring us back up here and looking to retest one of these levels here so we've already come to this 1.76 we do have this $2.05 above us. $2 is going to be a psychological level as well. You know, if we face rejection off of here, we could see this move to the downside. Now, it is also possible that this third wave is still in play and we are within this, where this is actually still extending out for this third wave, which would tie into the idea of this count here, where we're going to see an additional drop towards this 142 to this 129. So the key takeaway from this is that basically 
for as long as we only form three wave structures and we start and we continue to hold previous fourth wave locations i would be looking for that possibility of an extension to the downside where we could see an additional fourth and a fifth down towards this 126 to this one dollar 11 and then finally an additional fourth and a fifth which could look to take us down towards that one dollar level and then also the lower range this would be 78 cent region now this would be quite an interesting zone because this would be bringing us back into this previous structure like i said um even if it's not a reversal to the upside and taking new highs what we could see is the potential that uh this could actually tie in with coming in here we get a bounce and then we look to still continue down however this within this count is also still valid within the within the other count where we're looking at this as a a b and a c and what we would then be looking for is that potentially what we could see is a move closer down towards this 1618 or this 1382, which would be towards this 81 cent range. So this is what I'm looking out for. If we do continue to break down here and we can't actually get back above these previous fourth waves, it's more likely we're extending. So some key targets areas for this, if this is the case where this is a one and a two as a flat correction, is this three this 3.618 at this one dollar zone and then we also have this 4618 here if it does look to extend out deeper towards this six dollars uh, 66 cent 59 now if we do see a move down like this this would mark the potential completion of both of these moves and then we'd have to see what happens from the back end of that what we have to be careful of here is that if we do start to break down too deep here we could also start to argue so if we start to lose this 51 53 area what we could actually see is that you know this move in itself is still extending out we would have to then allow for the fact that this is one two all of this could become a three, four, and a five. So if we did see something like that, it would imply that we've actually got a bigger extension from further back here. So we want to stay away from that really if we just directly move down. If we do get more chop within this, where we actually get a bounce back to the upside and take some of these highs, that would tie into the idea of actually having this as a bigger corrective move. And so some things that I want to just talk about here is that if we do look at the entire price history that we have here we can see that we have had a bounce off of this value area low which is sitting towards this $1.47 so looking at this we can see that a move back up into this $3.98 would be quite an interesting level because that would be coming back into this point of control we do have this value area high also sitting up here towards this $18.83 if we do move back up into this zone it would be potentially an interesting area to keep an eye on now as well as that if we just come in here a little bit we can see that just above where we are there is a big volume node towards this eight one dollar eighty six area so because of that fact i'm just being cautious we could see that rejection for that fourth and that fifth here now one thing i just want to also say here is that if we do start to lose this range here of this uh this $1.54 what we do see here within the volume is that there is a bit of a deficit here so if we do start to lose this value area low what we could see is price could actually move down quite quickly towards this lower area where the volume starts to come in which would be between this 70 cents all the way down to really this area here of this 21 cent region so I would be keeping an eye on that if we do actually look to break down now if we are just looking at the upper the upper part of this move treating this as a range we can see here that we had a reaction off of this value area low and our value area high once again is sitting up here towards the zone of this uh, four dollars so that would be an important psychological level if we do move up here once again we do have this um, volume node sitting here towards this one dollar 86 range and then once above once we get above that there is a little bit of a deficit until we come back into the zone of this two dollars 65 so on the flip side if we did see this move do something like this where this becomes a wave one two this becomes a three four and a five this would actually tie in with coming back into this higher volume area above us so that's what i'm looking at with these volume profiles having a look at the fib retracements here but so the green ones are from the top to the bottom the yellow ones are from this midpoint to the low that we have in place currently so there are a couple of levels that i'm keeping an eye on here particularly this swing high here towards this uh, zone of this $5.30 
Um, we have a golden pocket that's sitting within here. We also have a 382, which is just slightly above this, towards this high here of this $5.63. So this would also bring us into this target box. So that would be quite an interesting zone if we do move up there. Now, obviously, we do have this lower target box just above where current price action is at this $1.94 to this $1.84. That would tie in with that idea of a fourth wave here and then seeing continuation to the downside. But if we did move up here, we do have also this 382 through which is sitting towards this so it'd be interesting to see if we do move up into this zone and we get rejected this could be a support resistance flip in which case we could actually see continuation still play out to the downside so we're going to need to be mindful that until we actually start breaking up surpass some of these swing highs this four dollars 73 this one here of this five dollars 38 and then obviously higher up here we need to be aware that this move can continue to break down and and extend out so it's possible that even within this you know if we fail to actually break back above these levels this could actually become another one two three four and a five and then we're actually extending out even more than we had um, previously thought within this structure and then if that was the case obviously this would then be more likely to be a one two one two and then this would be one two three four five and then basically this would just extend stand out from this point so we need to be careful of that now higher up here we do have a golden pocket towards this area here of this uh 1422 to this 12 to 76 area which would also be quite an interesting level we do have this zone in the middle here at this 50 percent which could be quite an interesting level as it would be a retest of some of these structures here although it would be more likely to for looking at this that we would actually see a move higher up here we do have some weekly and monthly naked points of control between this 1105 to this 933 so a bigger move up into these areas would actually tie in with that idea of you know having a bigger corrective structure and this would be an a a b and then looking for that c wave so we're gonna have to keep an eye on the price action here but really at the moment that's not showing a lot of strength Looking at the Ichimoku cloud here on the daily, we can see it is starting to build up above us. We are currently fighting with this conversion line, which we are currently just sitting above here. If we did see a move to the upside, a bigger move to the upside, I would still be cautious of this daily Ichimoku cloud, which is currently sitting towards this $2.80 above us. We do have the baseline here, which can also offer us resistance towards the zone of the $2.72 which would tie into coming back into this other target box that I have here so gonna have to keep an eye on this if we do see a move to the upside here in a three wave structure this would tie in with that possibility of continuation to the downside gonna have to just watch these levels now if we look at this on the weekly what we can also see here on the weekly is that we do have a much bigger cloud that is building up above us now this would kind of tie in with that idea of actually seeing a move back up into this zone looking for this as a completed move as either w w x and y and then looking for another x wave here before continuation or alternatively this could be something like a b and c and then we look to break down at a later date so this is going to be something i'll be keeping an eye on this is is that confluence here between this golden pocket as well and this ichimoku on the weekly so it's going to be an interesting area to keep an eye on as we move forward okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care